We are back here on Lines on Design. It is a wonderful day, and guess where we are? We are in heaven here in the Low Country. David has joined us, Pat has joined us, and we are at Habitat for Humanity. And this is a big day for me because we've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm super excited. Good. Talk to me, both of you, about what's going on here well, at Habitat. Well, what's going we'll on? We'll let the little one go yeah, first, the, right? The brains of the operation. Right, exactly. Yeah. What's going on right now, Debbie, is that we're building infrastructure. We have the contractors in here, they're quiet right now, but the contractors in here are going to be starting to put water and sewer in the road. When that's complete, we will pave it and then we'll be able to build houses again. Well, talk to me a little bit about the first phase is finished. The first phase is done. All the houses are complete and occupied. And it looks like a really fabulous community. It's funny, as we were driving around, everybody's nestled in now. Yeah. And you yes. can see the They're bustle. Homes, They're yes. homes. Yeah, they they go really homes are. Yeah. So how does it work getting the infrastructure in what 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 does that really mean to me the fun part uh, uh, <laughs> first and foremost is getting the approvals and the permitting which is all done uh, second uh, where we're at right now is the infrastructure is the rough in driveway roadway um, the elevations which okay. are key for setting for this uh, okay. septic lines water lines etc and um, they're it, going to be starting right. tomorrow uh, laying the pipe for the uh, septic lines. Is it, how many homes will be in this area? We're stuck on the number 16. We okay. did 16 in phase one and we're doing 16 in phase two. Is this also the Glen? Yes, this okay, is the so Glen this, phase two. Oh, which is wonderful. Yeah. What is the estimated timeline and how does all this work and what are your needs right now? Um, estimated timeline and so far as what? You're hoping that this will be a three-year project, a five-year project, a six-month project? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we wish. We wish it would be. Don't, don't give her ideas. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> we probably won't start building houses till early next year because this is a complex proce okay. process to get all the water and sewer and roads in and everything. So it's it'll fun be, to be here right now. Oh, it's so fun to see what in it looks like inception. now. In the inception. Come back in a year and it'll look way different than it looks now. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're looking at that. We're hoping to build some, with the 16 houses, we hope maybe in three years we'll be done with those. Can you believe it? Of course, yeah. you know, a lot depends on the weather. Okay, yes. <laughs> we have some delays because of weather. It also depends on the support of the community as far as volunteers, donors. We have, there are 16 houses in here, mm -hmm. going to be 16 houses. Six are funded. So that means 10 or Six not. are already Six funded. Six are already funded and we haven't put a shovel to the ground yet. So okay. It's really remarkable. So we need funding for the, the remaining, remaining houses, which we know will come to us. It always does. The community is so supportive and they understand the need for affordable housing. So we know it'll happen. What do you do when you come out every day? What is your role in this process? What I see my biggest role, and we talked about this yes. previously, was really uh, Use the word orchestrating. Um, okay. Working with the volunteers, coordinating uh, who's available, who's yes. ready to show up, uh, making sure that we have a work schedule, that we don't have too many volunteers in one location, mm -hmm. uh, that we have enough volunteers doing you know uh, certain parts of the schedule, making sure the materials here, and then uh, with the scope of the work that we do, making sure things get built to code. Okay. Um, oh, that makes we sense. Are, okay. Yeah, we are dependent upon our subcontractors for uh, electrical, mm -hmm. um, plumbing, uh, code things that you know, we don't have the skill set for. How do you all do that? Do, do different people bid and then you take... Um, yeah, we, we're, we yeah. competitively look, okay. or we look to get competitive bids and then we make the decision based upon that bids. Okay. We certainly take into consideration past relationships. and part of this time frame for building any house as any homeowner knows um, we're dependent not only on the volunteers in the weather but our subcontractors as sure. well and thankfully within our area everybody's busy mm -hmm. um, oh, that been, is a good thing yeah it and they've been very, very kind thing. and generous and and making sure they keep us in in the loop uh, but it, that's something that has to be balanced as well it's yeah. really interesting as we're driving in and setting up you know david Pat, hi hi and you said that the folks that you work with really become friends. I mean, oh. you have yeah. you develop yep. really close relationships with Definitely. them. Definitely. Yep. With the volunteers, with the homeowners, mm -hmm. with the subcontractors, because they all know that this is not just about building houses. It's about creating homes for families. Mm -hmm. And and communities, for heaven's sake. Yes, definitely communities. Yeah, most definitely. I never really thought, when we came out here today, I wasn't sure what we would find. What were we looking at? Um, 
a framed house going up, but it's more like I feel like I'm looking at a master plan. How yes. would you explain that? Is that is that really that that's exactly what it is. You know, we we when the town was generous enough to give us this acreage, we had to think of what is the best use of what they've given us. And we talked to several engineers and, and how are we going to make this happen and architects and all kinds of people who said this is what we suggest we really put a lot of minds together mm -hmm. what's the best use of this and this is what we've come up with when you all do a community like this do you take phase one and sort of do a debrief if you will we love this this didn't work so well here's where we would improve how does all that look because that's I, kind um, of the exactly. fun part well i'm smiling because one of the things that we had talked about previously pat and i was um as wonderful and as exceptional as phase one was um, like anybody, when you build a house, there are certain things What's that the next you thing? Yeah. learn. Right. Uh, we've made some minor changes that mm -hmm. we feel um, add function, okay. more function, uh, don't increase the cost. Uh, things that we think that are a little bit more important for phase two that we didn't think about in phase one. So uh, thankfully, we're willing and able to tweak the designs and mm -hmm. uh, we have a wonderful I think that's architect. that's really yeah. amazing. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's interesting because our subcontractors have come to us and said, you know, if you did this. Right. And we said, yeah, yeah. you're right. If we did that, it, would, it might work a little better. Well, it's so, I think that's the fun part of this whole process is never being, never thinking that it's the way it has to be. You can always shift it or tweak it or do oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. been something that you're thinking you're going to do that'll be, um, I don't want to say an improvement, but just a, like you said, function a wee bit better. Well, we had talked about uh, with phase one, uh, we had one and a half bathrooms. Uh -huh. And yes. oh. anybody, yeah. We're going to have two. Anybody that has children and daughters knows yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. usually, There's the usually truth. Usually the, right. yeah. the, the father or the brother that doesn't get in the, get oh, in the yeah. bathroom. So uh, with some minor modifications and uh, changes to the plan, uh -huh. we've, instead of a half bathroom, we've added uh, a, a walk-in shower, oh, that so it gives us so a full, that gives us a tub sense. bath in yeah. one bathroom, and then a toilet and a walk-in shower in the second. And these these changes are minor changes, but right. they make such a big oh, difference. Oh gosh, um, and about it was value. something that we were able to do, thankfully, with the help of our architect, who right. was willing and able to sit down and tweak the designs again. So. And it was our plumber who suggested it. He said, "You know, I think you can add a shower in here." He said, "You're like," and he said, "Here's what I yeah. think." And the architect <laughs> made it happen, and so we're going to build them that way. What's the feedback that you've gotten from your families? Because no. I certain oh yeah, it is funny because <laughs> as you drive through, I don't know what they say, but they certainly look pretty pleased with the process. I think I can speak for all of them when I say they're delighted. Mm -hmm. They're still thrilled to have a house. This is a family that didn't have a house before, mm -hmm. so it makes a huge difference. And even people who have been in their houses for 20 years st are still happy mm -hmm. with them. And that, that is so satisfying. It's sh and not only are they satisfied with the house, their lives are changed because they have a simple, decent place. They know what the mortgage payment is. They know it's not going to go through the roof anytime soon. Okay. They, can, they know they can afford it. And what we're seeing is parents who didn't have an opportunity for education now have kids that are graduating from high school, going on to college. Some are joining the military. It, it, stability is the word that comes to mind. It's, um, I think you're very intuitive because I was thinking last night of things that I would think about, talk uh -huh. about saying, and um, myself and a fellow team member went to the Glen to look at um, a homeowner who had some questions about some tree work, et okay. cetera. And it, it wasn't something that we can do, but we made some recommendations. But uh, the homeowner had been in the house 20 years. Mm -hmm. The house is still in wonderful shape. Uh, she is still so grateful and blessed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she has a daughter that's graduated college. She's looking at going to graduate school. Right. Oh my God. And you look at that, and that's exactly oh, why yeah. you do what you do. Oh, and so the change goes on for generations, not just one generation, but many generations. People get an education, life changes. Mm, 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 mm. You know, oftentimes when we talk, um, we're talking about fundraising. So it's a really treat today to talk about sort of the nuts and bolts about what you do. It goes really quickly. You guys are wonderful to talk to. I can't wait to see the progress here. We want to thank you. Thank we want to thank all thank of you, you for joining us here on Lines on Design. Please have a wonderful week.